Ancient Egypt was a massive and vastly enduring civilization. It was around in one form or another for about 3,000 years, and thus simply cannot be summed up after just a measly couple of centuries of excavating. As many modern archaeologists can tell you, there remains quite a lot to uncover about this society and its people. Even within the past few years, excavations throughout modern Egypt have revealed stunning new finds that can dramatically alter our perception of this complex time and place. As it turns out, even old-school archaeologists can still be startled by what comes out of the ground there. Here are some recent discoveries that seriously challenged our assumptions and changed what we know about ancient Egypt. A massive sarcophagus was linked to Ramses the Great. For the dead of ancient Egypt, it wasn't enough to be mummified. A deceased person also had to be laid to rest in style. Ideally, this included a respectable tomb and items meant to make their afterlife easier but it also meant that most of the deceased would have wanted an especially nice case. The coffin. As the American Research Center in Egypt explains, coffins not only helped to preserve a body, but also carried vital symbols and magical spells meant to streamline the transition into the afterlife. Eventually, coffins also began to depict the deceased as gods themselves. The bigger the funerary budget, the finer the artwork and the material. For that reason, the gigantic stone sarcophagus uncovered by researchers at Saqqara in late 2020 must have belonged to a pretty high-ranking personage. Of course, excavators could also read the carvings all over the piece, which indicate it was meant for Fat M. Wia, the treasurer of Ramses II, per The Guardian. Even more dramatically, the huge artifact was found at the bottom of a shaft nearly 30 feet deep. Not only finding the sarcophagus in its original spot exceptionally unusual, but it could reveal more about the inner workings of the court of Ramses the Great. An entire lost city was found in the desert. It seems strange to think of an entire city disappearing, especially for a society that adhered to the use of historical documentation. There had been records of the city of Aten, constructed during the reign of Pharaoh Amenhotep III in the 14th century BC, but it had seemingly vanished into the desert near modern-day Luxor. In an April 2021 statement announcing the rediscovery of Aten, Egyptologist and former antiquities official Dr. Zahi Hawaz noted that numerous foreign groups had tried and failed to find the settlement. But it was an Egyptian team that finally traced it, during an attempt to uncover the mortuary temple of the pharaoh Tutankhamun. Aten wasn't just some backwater either. According to Hawaz, the sprawling settlement was a major center that arose during the most prosperous era of the kingdom. Among the finds was an industrial-level kitchen that produced food for a large number of workers. Another residential area sported a unique zigzag-shaped wall and a production facility for mud bricks, which bore the mark of Amenhotep III. There are even tantalizing hints of the transition from the entrenched worship of many gods to the mono-aesthetic worship of the Sun Disk, established by Amenhotep's son, co-ruler and eventually successor, Akhenaton. Burials reveal more about Egyptian life before the pyramids. The Giza pyramids are about 4,500 years old, but civilization doesn't simply spring up and go about building edifices nearly 500 feet tall. Many people lived during the pre-dynastic period of ancient Egypt, generations before the pharaohs. This extra-ancient period of history saw a few different cultures, many of which didn't seem worried about centralizing authority. Perhaps due to their simple structures and largely unadorned graves, there remains much unknown about some of the earliest Egyptians. A 2020 discovery may help change that obscured state of affairs. According to Aram Online, an Egyptian team announced its discovery of 83 ancient graves that year. And when we say ancient, 
we mean well and truly old, even as far as Pharaoh Khufu of the Great Pyramid was concerned. The burials, some of which sported unique clay coffins, were about 6,000 years old and date from what's now called the Bhutto period. Per Egypt independent, Bhutto was an ancient city in the north of Egypt, traditionally known as Lower Egypt, given the south to north flow of the Nile River, as described by National Geographic. Other graves are slightly younger, dating to the Nakada III period, which lasted from about 3200 to 3000 BC. By the end of this era, Egyptians were likely experiencing the first rumblings of political organization that eventually led to the rule of the pharaohs for many more generations. And with that, we've reached the end of today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. What related topic would you like us to cover next? Leave a comment down below, we'd love to know. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next one.